Yo, what's up, coffee? Thank you for that raid. What are we up to? Welcome to new viewers. This is hard mode Bucky. We suck right now. I'm pretty tired. I don't know how long I'll try for, but if you've never seen Bucky or Hair before, it was like this really kind of obscure platformer by Konami made on the NES. Um, but hard mode, everything kills in a hit, so it's really cool. I do like this a lot. It's a really, really decent challenge. How did your stream go? And welcome to your beers. Yeah, the card is pretty expensive. Yeah, Monica, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Yeah, like it was really weird because as a kid I actually had the game, but I had no idea of like the universe that it was surrounded by. So like all the comic books or like the TV show or like any of that stuff that existed like I was completely oblivious to it. We just had the game and that was it like that's where it started and ended with me. Until I was an adult actually like I had no idea that Bucky was like based off anything. I just thought it was like this really weird original creation by Konami back then. So, so we have to play it. Okay, we messed up that cycle. And so cheetah. So hard mode wasn't probably supposed to be beat. Um, hard mode was actually like an anti piracy feature. But thank you for that again, Monica. Oh, is he? Yeah, like, I don't even know that. Yo, congrats. It's a pretty big... PB, sorry. Two minutes. Actually, another one that we had as a kid that... I had never heard of either, but apparently came from like a toy line or something. Uh, it was Monsters in My Pocket. <clears throat> and that was, uh, again, like, I think that was actually Konami also. I can't remember. But, that was another one of those games where it's like, I had no idea it ever existed like in terms of toys and other stuff like that until I was an adult. So this upcoming screen is the hardest in my opinion in the entire game, at least on hard mode. You have like these pseudo random toads and they spawn either top, medium, or low. Uh, they can shoot partially at random intervals and then the iceberg actually has like physics where you slide. Um, but on top of that too, there is also uh, jump inputs that get eaten here. So this is actually pretty free on normal mode or whatever, <clears throat> but on hard mode this is probably again. Like I remember seeing a blind race of this a long time ago and this particular screen like took people over three hours or four hours to get through. So this is easily I think the hardest part. But once you're out of that screen, it's not as brutal. It has a bad pattern. I think I legitimately had to wait there. Whoa. <laughs> okay, well, it's pretty close.
So the toads also have like weird, uh, dude, destroy the one in front of you. Invincibility. You have to actually wait slightly. So three, his cycle is really easy. It's four and then every six after that. So it's two, three. I'm too close though. <clears throat> yeah, they're literally battle toad snakes, 100% there. And yeah, it controls really well. It actually controls as nice as it looks like. So, each character has like different uh, attributes, like they have different shots, they have different jump arcs, they have different everything. I think they have different jump arcs anyway. Oh, damn. We combined. Hold strats. I meant to shoot that guy twice. Yeah, it's a really nice game. I wish more people even played it casually. Like, a lot of people missed out on it casually. possible to like one cycle this fire room and it's kind of nice. I always miss this guy. So this toad is actually kind of hard to hit when you jump there. He can be in an awkward position depending how you scroll the screen. So... Oh, it's gonna fall on my head. Okay, never mind, it's not. So I felt like three times in this PB that I had, I guess, like the other day. So I'm, I've always sucked at that section, but... This, this should probably be gold, I would think. So that's an intentional death. Um, it creates a death warp situation where you skip like an auto scroller. If you happen to die and you get and your body gets pushed into the next screen, <clears throat> uh, it skips like this auto scrolling section. Yeah, vice is really good. Okay, yellow, hardest screen in the game. One of them, anyway. Yo, GP well. Thank you, good dude. Welcome to hard mode, Bucky. So I gotta switch here. Ah, frick. See, mistakes were made there, literally. That was 100% my fault. Uh oh, okay. So I wanted to jump jump and shoot and kill that guy. And then I have to wait slightly because that pattern is off. I hate using DP. Yeah, like literally got shot in the head. That was my fault because I didn't jump and kill that one guy. So this is hard move Bucky, um, for again anybody that's not aware of it. You literally die in a hit by everything. It's a really, really good run. And I think I'm okay. This this is like a three pixel setup or something. So Okay. Not ideal, but whatever.
Yeah, no, there's a lot. <laughs> it's a really good speedrun. It's extremely punishing on like some screens. I think when they made it, like hard mode again wasn't something that was supposed to probably be beaten. Hard mode was again an anti-piracy feature, so if you like legally copied the game back then, like some kind of copier, um, it would just default to hard mode by default. Like everything would just kill you in a hit. But I think when they were designing kind of like the stages, maybe they had a preconception of what they wanted to do to deter pirates or something like that. So like Green Planet, for example, has like that laser section, <clears throat> which is very, very hard to get through on hard mode. And then also Blue Planet obviously has the iceberg. Red Planet is free. If you pirated the game back then, you could easily, I think, go through Red Planet. Like nothing really changes. <laughs> so you could at least enjoy Red Planet back then as a pirate. Um, but Yellow Planet has the first two screens, which are actually very hard. Manipulating those worms so you don't get killed is like a three frame window or something, I'm not sure. But. Oh, dude. Okay. But where are we up to DP? Thank you again for that raid. Uh oh. Okay. That was almost bad. Ooh, dude. Okay, never mind. Everything's good. Uh, Symphia of the Night. Wait, glitch list is how long? I don't know that. <sighs> yeah, Jazz Jack Rabbit. The DOS screen rabbit. I never played it, I'm aware of it at least though. But in terms of like technical stuff, it was pretty decent because it was like actually a fast moving platformer on PC, which really wasn't known for anything at the time. The cycle is like the weirdest. You're, you're sometimes able to just like walk in in one cycle, that area, sometimes you cannot though. Yo, what's up, Dave? <laughs> you always make me feel schizophrenic talking to myself like that. Thank you for the good luck, it dude. Yeah, Commander Keen was awesome. I remember Commander Keen. So I gotta wait slightly. This room I still take like a BB. I, uh, this is one of the few rooms that I need to change to like Callum strats. Uh oh. Dude, I think I'm too far over actually. I'm afraid to move back. I need to move one pixel back. This this boulder thing might kill me right here. We're just gonna stand perfectly still. Maybe we're in the... Alright then. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's like a two or three pixel window to stand here, but... Like if you look at Bucky's foot, that kind of like white pixel on his left side. You want to be standing so it's like he's half on top of it. Bucky, don't do that. Okay. So 40 is pretty good. So what's your goal time? 3208 is the record. Yeah, like Symphony of the Night, like that's actually something that I, I don't really know very well. But it's really weird too because like a lot of people run it that I never thought would have like an interest in it or never like Dexter or something for example. He learned it a long time ago. <clears throat> and I know Dexter fairly well at this point, but it's like I had no idea that Symphony of the Night was something that you had an interest in.
sub 40 is the ball. The movement in that is pretty silly as well. Like it has some pretty good movement. But I don't know again like the route or like items that you pick up or anything like that. And Commander Keen I actually bought on Steam a while ago. I wanted to go through that. Okay, so this... This is where it starts to get hard. This, oh shit, I went down the wrong way. This next screen uh, is, in my opinion, also like one of the hardest screens not to die on at the very beginning. There's like these bugs, but I'm pretty sure the first jump is pixel perfect. And it's so easy to just jump into the bug like that. See, like that, it's so easy, dude. And then every one of these jumps is horrible they can just literally... So th this was like the very first time where I felt... Okay. And I feel death is not... Like, not a for sure thing. I still feel death is possible on the screen for sure right now. Whereas everything else, like I'm starting to learn, okay. For the most part we can get through the screens and stuff like that. But death is still a risk on the screen. And this kid has like an incredibly fat head. Oh, shit. Oh, we did it, okay. So it's very easy to like get spiked there and die. But you have to use him because if you shoot the laser with the kid, uh, it does double damage to the toads. Otherwise, those toads take two shots to kill. So you have to switch to the, the kid to do that. Decent. Okay, there's a lot of time to save here. Okay, that jumps really hard. I'm glad with that. I think I died there one time on my previous PV here. I also died here somehow on my other PV. Whoa, <laughs> get down. Dead eye, you freak. That was kind of close. Definitely don't want his like head to hit those spikes. This screen is not hard, but at the same time, like it's hard. But this is like one of the longest screens in the entire game. So if you die, it's really terrible. I think that jump is two pixels. So I'm glad that I got that too.
Okay, one, two. Okay, that jump is terrifying. <laughs> oh, dude, get up there. Okay, whatever. That's not that bad of a mistake. And this jump is really scary too. It's very easy to hit your head on top of those spikes. Okay, pretty good shape. Ah, damn. So the way that you have to do these jumps is you have to like immediately jump and shoot and hit your head at the same time as shooting. Uh, otherwise, you will die. So, the thing about this screen too... Okay. Yeah, Battletoads thinks are back. The guys that drop in this screen are random. Okay, we'll take that. That was pretty good. That was a really good split. So if this tanker doesn't juke me... Okay, we're gonna be really, really, really ahead here. That still wasn't perfect, dude. But dang. I still took one death. Like, I've yet to do that section with, like, Callum's record strats without dying at least once. But that was close. So here in particular, uh, I have a lot of time. I have, like, over a minute to save. In the PV that I set the other day, I accidentally died on the toad ship being an idiot. So that literally cost, like, over a minute at the very end. So, provided this is deathless, which this is incredibly hard to do deathless, then... We should be pretty good. These two ship kills right here are very scary. Okay. That, that part is like one of the hardest parts, I think, in my opinion as well. And the checkpoint is after again, like that plume of smoke. So if you die any point before that, you literally lose like a minute. It's probably again, the most punishing death in the entire game, considering how checkpoints and stuff are laid out. And same here. It's kind of easy to die on that ship if you're not careful. A decent shot. Can't die on this dude. This guy is basically all RNG as well. Whoa, <laughs> dude, that was close. Death almost happened. That was way too close. Those pillars can kill you. So that was way too close to those pillars. Okay. So this dude's shots are random, which are really annoying to kind of deal with sometimes, but... No, I gotta go high.
So I could probably be braver here, but that's okay. <clears throat> I gotta learn to do that boss fight like a little bit closer. Yeah, he does. Like, he's not free, but there's no checkpoint. Like, you have to do the entire boss fight if you kill him. Or if you get killed by him, sorry. So again, like, at that point, like, his little animation, like, flying into him and stuff like that, it's probably, like, over a 30 second loss for sure. Okay, so we need the quick kill. <laughs> Otherwise, getting that cycle will be bad. Two, three. No, oh, I can't do it. There's no way. I missed it. So, it's gonna be the exact same as. Oh shit. Dude, Blinky! So, I mean, technically this- oh, <laughs> his head, his head is so fat. Oh, man. So, I don't know how that breaks out, but I think at some point, I mean, I should still be able to set a PV, I think. I just need the quick kill here. If I don't, then it's over. I can't do it. But the things, things we need to learn is how fat that kid's hitbox is. He's got like the giant biggest head in the world. Okay, same situation, not very good. Of course. Yeah, no, he's got like a giant head. So this will be a shitty PV by the time that I kill this boss. Like it'll be a poverty one, I think, because I died there like a fool. Which is a shame, dude. Like this was a really good run. It shouldn't take me over a minute to kill this guy, but... Lessons were learned. Dang, dude. That could have been a minute faster. Could have been 27 something. Like, I literally lost a minute on my previous split. Yeah, thanks, DP and Cheetah. Really cool run. I don't know why I lost time in green though. Like usually it's almost always green, but I guess green was not green this time. I'm not sure if I want to try to run that back, like that was... The, the thing that scares me the most is Magma. Like Magma is one of the hardest splits in the entire game. But I mean at the same time it shouldn't scare me that much because it's getting to the point where... Like I can run Magma without dying, right? And that's exactly what almost happened there. That's, that's pretty, dude, that, that's insane though. Cause, okay, like, wait. 
We'll see. Look at the best segments. Like, that magma split alone dropped my sum of best time to, I think, almost like 50 seconds. Like, that's pretty pretty insane. It was, I think it was like 27, 14 or something. So if we have... So I lost a minute and nine seconds in escape. That's cool. <laughs> I lost 27 seconds in salvage. And yellow. What happened in yellow that... Oh, I died. Actually, I died in yellow. That's right. Because I got headshot or whatever. So I have about 20 seconds in yellow. Otherwise, everything is getting actually normal. So I have... Only like two or three seconds to save in green, like two seconds to save in blue. Red was a gold, so it's the best I've ever done that section. I've lost 23 seconds in yellow. Cell was only off by a second, so that's actually a normal split now. I lost 27 seconds in salvage. Magma was a gold, and then I lost 109 in escape, so. Three big time saves for sure there. What's up, Codemaster? Alright, well, I mean, like, it's coming together for sure. I think the next time I'll probably um, just call it for now because I'm really tired, but. The next time that I stream this, for sure, I will fix Green Planet because I still have like a really stupid time save there. I still take that section and the laser ship's really good. But yeah, General Aaron Jews is on right now. You guys can go to add him. He's a really good dude and he speedruns Turtles in time, both co op and solo. So. Take care guys, thanks for hanging out.